Oh yeah, do Slayer test. Let's go Blue Dre. No, thank you. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Might as well buy some broads. While we're at it, 50 each. They're like 75 each. So there's a quick money making guy. Thanks for watching the video. Yeah. Okay. Holy shit. 12,000 points still. Um, Aber Inspectors. You can lick my nuts. And next task, Griffo Lowers. Can I? What the hell? I've never been down here. I'm not going to lie. I've never been down this way for. Whoa, what the hell is that? Have you guys ever been down here? I swear I've never seen... Oh, is this where you make that dragon chain body thing? Or something like that? You can, like smith it with these animals? Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, that's okay. Well, I've never been down here before besides like, I guess... That's cool. Okay. Learn something new every day. Yeah, anyways, moving on with the Slayer skill. So, uh, one second. Alright, I'm back. I just had to quickly jerk off. The moment when there is no XP drop ever since I just left. Haha, <laughs> XP waste, no lob prep. Oh, I just choked on my own. Okay, anyways, no XP waste, what's up? So anyways, recently I've been thinking about switching gyms. I know this isn't really too important for you guys, but this is something that's kind of getting really annoying. It's not even the retards in my gym that are making me want to switch gyms. It's the actual gym itself. So about a year ago now, exactly, my gym had a deal, right? $10 a month and a down payment's like 140 bucks, right? So I got that myself. And now this is what they're doing for a stupid New Year's resolution. And if all you guys that work out for like at least a while now know for sure that at the start of, at the start of every single year, there's always a billion people in, at the gym just because it's like their New Year resolution bullshit. Oh my God, we're going to get skinny this year or some shit. We're going to get strong this year. Fucking give up after the second month or first month or whatever. But yeah, so my gym decided to put their um, gym membership for $1.00. Um, and a $20 card thing to get into the gym. So $21 basically. Um, and then $10 a month. So basically, what is that? Like $141 for a whole year of membership for a gym? Yeah, it's crazy cheap. I know. I don't live in a ghetto place. It's just cheap as fuck. I'm thinking about going to other places. It's called the Athletic Club or some crap. And, um, what's not called the Athletic Club? It's called something like that. Anyways, um, and it's thirty dollars for every two weeks, so that's the only thing. So it's sixty bucks a month. That's like another fucking phone bill, for God's sake. See, so yeah, I'm thinking about possibly going there, but thirty a week, thirty for every two weeks sounds kind of crazy. But they got a pool there, and they they got a lot of room there, so I know for sure it won't be too busy. But yeah, I went to the gym tonight, and I went around seven, which I'm never going again around that time, because that literally is the time that like everyone's there, just trying to fucking gain all kinds of gain. I think five o'clock is probably the best of the gym, because most people got to work at five. And most of them will probably go home and eat dinner before they go to the gym, which is why it's probably busy around 7. So, that might be some uh, advice for you guys if you guys ever decide to work out in the future or some crap. I remember it was like, not holidays, but it, it was like March break or things like that. It was actually literally empty. And all the only people that were there were all these old people. Like these like 60-year-old fucking dirty ex-porn stars or some shit, man. But yeah, during the day, it's just old people out at the gym, which is kind of cool. Because I want to be old one day and just do that shit. Could you imagine, man, just being 60 years old, fucking working out with your wife and shit? Every time she squats, you slap her ass, be like, I still got it, honey, I still got it? After we work out, baby, I'm gonna tap that. Alright, baby. Man, I wonder how I wonder how old we'll be whenever we stop even thinking about sex. I don't know if old people stop thinking about it, or they just don't do it because they can't, basically, but this is a weird topic, so. Anyways, gotta admit, though, the one time I was a little creeped out, I was at my grandma's house, I was cooking something in the, uh, in the in the kitchen. I was making myself a sandwich. I know it's odd. She should have been making my sandwich. I know, but she's old, so I don't want to bother. So she came in and she wanted to help me. My grandpa comes in and kisses her. I'm just like, ugh, ugh, ugh. and I swear he told her something about let's make love tonight. So I don't. Ugh. Let's just say I never ate that sandwich ever. I've had a few girls actually that, like these days from school and crap talk to me about. I wonder what it looks like when teachers make love with, like, their, like, you know what I mean? Like, ugh. just goes to show you, man, girls are just as dirty as guys. They just don't show it normally. But yeah, the girl just randomly starts talking about, like, I wonder what old people look like when they have sex and shit. I'm just like, well, why the fuck would you want to know this? That was not a voice crack, by the way. I did that shit on purpose. What's up? So anyways, I'm kind of falling behind on the whole Smallville thing because of, uh, whenever I was sick, I just kind of laid down and everything. But, yeah, I'm currently on episode or season 8, episode 16, so almost close to season 9, which is a second last, yeah, it goes up to season 10, I think. But yeah, I gotta tell you, it's a little bit, it's a lot different than what it was when it first started this, I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense, so there's, there's literally 220 fucking episodes on Smallville, so that's fucked. Though that's one thing I hate about watching series, is when you watch it, like, when it's already over, 
you kind of know the main character won't die. Like, it kind of gives you that one feeling where it's just like, well, I know he won't die in this episode because there's a million more episodes after this. So, you know, whatever he whatever he goes through right now, he won't die. Just no matter. It, it kind of ruins it for you, right? It's like, whoa, when's this guy going to die, right? And um, even if it sounds like he's close, he's not because it's not the ending yet. Though in the last episode, I'm going to be wondering the whole fucking time. Every single minute, is he dead? Is he dead? Is he dead? Reminds me of Dexter. Oh, I don't know if you guys watch that show, but Dexter is by far the best show in the fucking world. Doesn't start till September again, though, but it just it recently just finished, so yeah, it kind of sucks. And the ending of it was fucking so surprising. Man, 19 more of these fuckers. Ma magic still hits like shit on these things, like, ugh, whatever. So I got a surprising 2 million experience almost today once I do my magic tree run, which I should be doing after this task or so. I got my barbarian shit here, by the way, in case I uh, go do my agility challenge. What is How much is left on this thing? I gotta go charge this thing up pretty soon. It costs like 30 fucking mil. Um, 19%. Shit. If I was efficient, I would have charged this whenever I was sick. That would have been like 6 hours of AFK. Anyways, I gotta tell you guys something. I don't know, I don't know if you guys want to know this, but I mean, it's kind of interesting. Um, from what I know right now, G the price of GP for RuneScape has literally gone down to 25 cents a mil if you want to sell it. But this, that's obviously if you have a lot to sell, first of all, and you're selling it to some type of company or whatever. Um... Uh, that just shows you how crazy, like, I know this one website, I'm not going to say the name just in case, but they're selling it for, like, 33 cents a mil right now, which is yeah, fucked up. I mean, it could be so low that it's a scam at that point, but, I mean, like, there's a lot of websites selling it for very cheap now. But, yeah, see, that's the one thing I'm kind of talking about. It's just, like, I mean, efficiently wise talking, efficiently talking wise, or however the fuck you word that, it's literally more worth it to go get a job and then just buy the RuneScape GP. Like that's it's not like it's not fair, but it's true. Like it's who the hell wants to go to Bandos and make five mil every like fucking day when you can make that five mil what is that? Fucking two dollars and fifty cents? Is that what five that's a dollar and twenty five cents. Wow. What the fuck? A dollar I have fucking two dollars right here. I want my ten mil. Ten mil right here. Come at me, dicers. Come at me, bro. Give me ten mil. Okay, that'd be eight mil, wouldn't it? But Anyways, 10 mil right here on the spot. I'll buy it for real life GP. Let's go. But yeah, it's kind of fucked, isn't it? But yeah, I don't like thinking like that because that reminds me of like buying spins type of thing. Like it's totally worth buying spins, but it's stupid. As well as buying money now. It's totally worth it because like how much do you guys honestly make an hour on RuneScape without doing any type of dicing or getting lucky at staking? Like do you literally make... If, uh, well, minimum wage here is 10 bucks an hour, which would be 25 mil. 25, who makes 25 mil an hour here? Anyone? No? Okay, well, I guess it's better for you to go get a job and then buy the money, basically. It like, doesn't sound so unrewarding. Like, you guys are sitting there grinding money when someone's just buying it after, you know, like a five-hour shift of fucking McDonald's or some shit. That's kind of what I was talking about whenever I wanted to ask about, you know, getting rid of free trade and stuff like that because things like that just, it, doesn't that just demotivate you to want to make money? Like, someone's out there just doing a McDonald's shift and making, like, 25 mil an hour. Yeah. It's, it's kind of sad. And I'm sort of getting all demotivation on you guys. I know I'm mostly sometimes the type of guy that motivates you guys to try and slay or just, you know, reach top page, not top page, but like max out at least or some crap. But yeah, got to speak about some true things sometimes. Next task, right? Where, you give me something that fucking boggers do? What is this shit? 12.18. Okay. Oh, give me a good task. Give me a good task. Oh my God. Okay. Well, good melee experience. I kind of got to do these bastards. Anyways, I'm going to uh, wrap it up there. I'm going to go back to this uh, small video shit. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed... Oh, wait. i got to do my daily challenge, don't I? Fuck. What's my daily... Is it Dorgish Khan? Oh, fuck. I just hate when videos end, like, 